Do not think you can hide your secret wish from me. You wish you could rule this mountain with your brother once we are finished. If you won't act, Mother, then I implore you to... to lend me your plant and fan to save Father. <sighs> Words from cunning foxes. You just want to trade my fan for a smile on your brother's face. I... I owe my life to Father. And to your kindness for taking me in. Brother was good to me, but I would never betray my parents for him. Say no more of the fan. We raised the boy. Guess this is what we deserve. But you... Why are you here at this very moment? Rakshasi, I'm not a part of your family, and I'm aware I have no voice in this. But Ping told me the Destined One had arrived. <laughs> the Destined One, who doesn't even know what he's destined for. Those old bastards must have pulled a muscle coming up with the name. You and I both know who he truly is. When the time comes, your children, your husband, and even this very palace could all turn to ashes. What do I have to fear from a mere pawn? He's no match for us. He can't even rival the power of my fan. Once the truth is revealed, suddenly he is here. Do you not find it odd? Such a twist of fate. The truth? The truth of what? Who are you talking about? I heard the Destined One had obtained all the other relics. Rakshasi. Your situation is grave. Do you not see who mandated his return? Were those relics really bestowed for your good? Perhaps amid these schemes and plots, we've unwittingly become stepping stones for his rebirth. For others, I care not. All along, you are all I care for. I say we should leave together. I vow to treasure you dearly. Just like when we're up there. I never thought that one day you'd be the only one I can rely on. I am overwhelmed. Come, sit with me and tell me what to do. Don't let him, Mother! Don't you see? He is taking advantage of you! You lecher! I called for your help, not your treachery! How, how dare you! A child of a concubine should know better manners. When I first crossed paths with her, your bull of a father was no more than livestock munching on a patch of grass. Have you no shame? Mother, don't be fooled! Enough of your endless prattle. <laughs> Hmm. No, that's better. Rakshasi, have we not been this close since our time in Tushita Palace? Well, yes, I do miss the old days too. We oh, were so happy back then. What in the blazes? No, no tricks, tricks here. here. It's, it's just, just my hoof. hoof. You deserve, you deserve to know, to know before, before we kiss. kiss. You will live to repent this. <sighs> Filthy lowlife. You dare take her form and beguile me. My old friend, wasn't it fun? Have we not been this close since our carnage in the fox den? <laughs> you abhorrent fraud. My candid words were wasted on your foul ears. Candid, my hoof. Your revenants are everywhere. I thought you'd have better lies. Quick on your heels, huh? Well then, boy, let us teach this brazen adulterer a lesson. Vile beast. Your savagery knows no cure. 
But you will behave once my sourceless water from Toshita drops. You seem to have a death wish. Then I shall oblige. From yin and yang arises two sides. From land and sky emerges a divide. Now you shall be feasted upon by my yin yang fish. What a stingy host. Such a meager fish. Hardly enough for a platter.
been revealed. Disasters are sure to follow. The turmoil you witness is but a ripple caused by a drop from above. <laughs> <laughs> well, gone already. Bad news after a good nap. <laughs> He's gone too far from a furnished servant. A decent lad he was. <sighs> decent until ruined by brother Wukong. Then destiny carried him further to fall for the wrong woman. <laughs> You, go up this way. Check if any way leads up. I'll go look around. The owner might be gone, but her treasure might still be there.